Um, in this nationalization of outrage, like you said, there's always some piece of content to get angry about. And it would seem to me these social, I was talking about Fox, but it would seem to me Facebook and Twitter are, are very much part of this problem because there's always something you can click on and get angry about. Well, and, and honestly, we're the problem because we engage with that content. You know, it's not that Facebook forces us to engage with it. We're like, oh, happy to share that. Look at what they're really like. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Drone Tech, and thank you for joining me on yet another mind-bending look at the least self-aware, most overgrown Cabbage Patch doll in the media known as Brian Stelter. Today, I wanted to show you a particularly hilarious segment that demonstrates how alien a concept self-awareness is to Brian Stelter. I mean, I'm mad as hell might, be the, might as well be the new slogan for some of those shows on Fox News. One of Fox's favorite stories this week was about some school board in New Jersey that decided to list each holiday as a day off instead of using names like Christmas or Thanksgiving. Now, this is just local New Jersey news, but it inspired at least 16 mentions, at least 18 mentions on Fox. And then after all the drama, the school board wound up holding a special meeting to rethink the decision. And sure, it was probably a boneheaded decision in the first place. But national news? This is what I mean by, radic by, by nationalization. And this too, a law enforcement. All right, let me get this straight. Apparently, Brian Stelter is outraged that people at local levels know what's happening around the rest of the country on a national level. So that when those issues do come to their schools, they're prepared for them and can maybe go ahead and head them off before they become an issue. Apparently, Stelter would prefer that nobody knows what's going on at the national level so that when these issues do arrive, the parents and the people are taken completely by surprise and have no defense against it. No doubt his angle here is critical race theory because the media and the Democrats have been going after parents who have been going to their school boards and demanding that CRT not be introduced. Stelter, being the communist that he is, does want that infiltrating into our schools and so he's out there trying to make a case that people at the local level shouldn't even know about what's going on i'll get right back to analyzing this segment but first take a look at this special offer for my viewers diversifying your investments is like building a sports team each asset plays different roles for example you have offensive players assets that make gains and pay dividends but equally important is your defensive line Assets that will protect the value of your investments. There's a 5,000 year old asset that's seen off every world crisis there ever was and thrived. Gold and precious metals. The oldest hedge against inflation and disaster. Your stability insurance. Put it into an IRA. You even defer the tax on all the gains until you retire, so you get compound growth on everything. That can add extra thousands of dollars to your fund over the years. And you'd have stability peace of mind that you've made the right choice. Take out an IRA with Noble Gold this month. And along with first class service, they're gifting a one tenth ounce gold bullion American Eagle coin. You can find out more by visiting the link in the description or pinned comment, or simply go to their website at www.noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you could even call them at 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech Politics sent you. We live in something called negative partisanship. That means that a person is a Republican, not so much because they love Republican ideas, but because they really dislike Democrats. Or someone's a Democrat, not so much because they really love Democratic ideas, but because they really dislike Republicans. Okay, maybe I missed something the first time I watched this. That was actually a pretty objective description of the landscape that we find ourselves in. Although I would argue that Fox News probably tries harder than any of the others to straddle the fence and give both sides of an issue. Whereas CNN and the rest of the media are straight up Democrat state propaganda that spend every hour of every day demonizing the right, Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and generally anybody to the right of Mao Zedong. If you're only hearing about the most radical, like random, you know, New York City liberal, uh, you know, hippie, more liberal, leftist hippie, you know, if you think that's your opponent and you have this right. completely wrongheaded sense of, of what the so-called other side is, um, in this nationalization of outrage, like you said, there's always some piece of content to get angry about. And it would seem to me these social, I was talking about Fox, but it would seem to me Facebook and Twitter 
are, are very much part of this problem. Okay. I thought this segment had some pretty hilariously hypocritical butthurt from Stelter. I mean, can you believe this guy? His job every day is literally to portray his political opposition in the worst possible terms. And then his go-to example is that Fox News is mean to liberals. For one, doesn't the left or the Democrat party pretty much control every institution at this point? I mean, you got CNN and MSNBC and the rest, and they're all coordinating on message that the Republicans are bad. There are so many examples of this confirmation bias in action that have led to what they call mistakes or accidents that are always suspiciously cutting against their political opposition. Things like constantly falling for hate crime hoaxes, assuming that shootings are conservatives or white guys, even outright editing footage or audio in order to hold up their narratives when the facts don't match. There are countless examples that I could spend hours talking about. Hell, just go look at my videos for the last few years. But the point is, they are everything that they accuse us of being. Second, no doubt Stelter's whining here is connected to his plummeting ratings and the recent scrutiny that's been laid against him by critics like Joe Rogan, who brilliantly called out Stelter's hackery, or the round of C-SPAN callers or young journalists that have roasted him live on the air. It's like almost pornographic if you're living in the middle of the country and you're reading about San Francisco all the time and like the worst. And, the, and by the way, there's problems in cities. There's problems everywhere. But if you of read course. about them constantly, you're going to blow them out of proportion. And, and by the way, you know, you mentioned Loudoun County. Fox is focused on critical race theory, on Loudoun County parents speaking against it. NBC had a great story this week about critical race theory concerns Nash at the national level, then trickling down to local. So you're seeing that the flip side maybe of this nationalization issue is stories then go to local levels, uh, communities get polarized locally because of national fights. Is that a part of this layer that we, we should have mentioned as well? What did I tell you? This entire thing is about downplaying or covering up what's going on in this country with the implementation of the Marxist ideology of critical race theory. I mean, come on, talk about blowing things out of proportion. Brian Stelter is the king of blowing things out of proportion, including his body. I know that everybody watching this already knows that Brian Stelter's a clown right along with his CCP puppet hacks, but I still like to document this corruption so that we can share the videos and hopefully convince others to turn off their TV. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like and share it with your friends. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>